Hello and welcome back to the video series of or for the Realize Automation 7.3. In the previous part, we just discussed the lab setup, so nothing fancy. Now I thought we're gonna talk about the design ish. Um, so as I mentioned before, this is necessarily a fancy VCDX design. This is just about how the components are laid out and it's, again it is aligned to the reference architecture which i always suggest reading no matter what you do i mean you have um, different ways of installing it you have a simple install you have a distributed install um, this is going to be a distributed install i mean it's still small ish environment at least in the background, but at least this gives you an this gives you an idea what it would look like if you do it a little bit more well complex. Um, so, what components do we have? So the the main components are two V Realize Automation appliances. These gonna sit behind a load balancer. Then you have two IS servers, which again gonna be behind a load balancer. You have two IS managers. These are gonna be active passive, but still behind the load balancer. By default, they also have the distribution execution manager orchestrator, the DEM orchestrators installed. And then another two servers, which are for the VCV agents, and these are gonna have the DEM worker as well. Um, on paper, what does it look like? So you can see from the top to bottom, the two V realize automation appliances with the load balancer, the VIP FQDN is vra.vgen.co.gk, very fancy. Um, the two appliances, VRA01, VRA02, then again, the web load balancer, isweb.vgen.co.uk, and it's two. Um, servers in the pool, these are IS Web 01, IS Web 02, and I can see I'll miss their uh, hyphen at Web 02, but it doesn't really matter. Port is the DNS is correct, right? Um, then we have the manager, the VRA manager, load balancer, IS man is uh, IS man vegan .gk with its two members. Again, it's supposed to be a dotted line on the man or two because again, that is active passive. That's not active active really. And then you have another two hosts, as I mentioned, the IS agent or IS AGT01 and IS AGT02. Um, that would be so far from the paper design, but let's go through those in vCenter. So here we are in the vCenter. So as I mentioned, we have two VRA appliances. So these sitting on my management vCenter. They have been already deployed. I don't think I need to explain how to deploy an OVA, right? So all you do is right click, deploy OVA, go through the IP and password configuration, and off you go. The next will be the two web servers is web 01 and is web 02 and as mentioned these are going to be um, just the web servers they all have all is servers here have two cpus and four gig of ram again it is a it is a lab i haven't sized it it's just went with the bare minimum for now of course in the course of the during the course of working with those servers, I might have to increase it. But the minimum CPU that is one of the hardware requirements is two CPUs, otherwise the installer will just not go ahead. So that is the minimum I have, two CPUs, four gig of RAM, a random thin provision, 80 gig disk, and you can see this is for every IS server. So the IS Web 01, IS Web 02, again, both two CPUs, four gig of RAM, 80 gig, then the two manager servers, as I said, they're going to have the DEM orchestrator as well. This is something you can't change. This is pretty fine. And in version 6, you could essentially place them somewhere else, but there's just no need. They're, they're supposed to be close to their manager. That's where they are. 
And then you have your agents, your lease fee agents, and that is where the grunt happens. That's why the workers, the, the dam worker, will be on there as well. Um, in terms of load balancing, as mentioned, um, I'll be using NSX edges. You can see this is a plain vanilla environment. So NSX has just about installed attached to a vCenter. It has been prepared, so you can see the host preparation is done, enabled, configured, all glory, all goods. The same goes with VX. We have VXLAN is configured, etc. So all that's really missing for our VRA environment is the edge. But I'll be doing this when it comes to the actual configuration of the NSX load balancer. So I will be showing how to deploy the edge, what the configuration should look like, and then, yeah, we're all ready to roll. And that is what really brings us to part three. So in the next video, I'll show you how to set up the NSX load balancer. Um, we will set it up and we will revert it again. <laughs> but I explain all of it in the next video. See you then.